JD here, and a little while ago we looked at the Eshin QX65, this guy. And since then I've been taking him out, I've been using him for acro practice. I've probably done in about six to eight hours worth of flight time with this guy. Uh, and then I went to take him out the other week and I just went to turn him on and make sure everything was okay. And I noticed I've blown this particular motor right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've ordered some more motors. Now the motors have turned up, let's get this replaced. So for this, what I'm going to do is turn around, we're going to be using the hobby table, we're going to zoom in, we're going to focus primarily on this motor, as that is where I want to start, uh, start the repair. Then we're going to ensure that we've taken this out uh, and replaced it properly with the correct motor, and then we're going to take her out for a little flight sometime in the future and make sure she's working. So with this, let's get this camera flipped around and let's get her pointed at this particular motor and let's start the repair. Right, so here we are. We have the quadcopter. So what I'm going to do for the second is just take out all the parts that aren't necessary, like the battery. Now, the manual does show you exactly which way each motor goes, whether you have the clockwise or counterclockwise. So what I've done is I've got it out and I've got it to my left here, and I'm going to position this in exactly the same way as the quadcopter's position to the manual. And that way then we can know exactly which motor we're replacing, whether it is counterclockwise or whether it is the clockwise motor, just so that we get it right and we do it properly first time. So for this, what I'm going to use is uh, I haven't I don't have any fleecy material on as I'm going to be quite close to the printed circuit boards here I haven't got my ESD uh, board set up yet unfortunately so I'm just pretty much going to do this without any ESD shielding for the second though we're going to just have a little look and see now that is the way that it is portrayed in the in the manual so we should have this motor here being M4. M4 should be a clockwise motor. So for this, what I'm going to do actually is just to ensure that I've got the right one right from the off. Now, what I would say is with these little tiny whoops, they're not too powerful, but still stay away from these propellers when they start. So what I'm going to do is just start my tran my transmitter and I'm just going to put it into idle. Now we should have, the motor should kick up, but we should have one of them. It should be this one. That, doesn't power at all there we are so this motor here doesn't power at all so that's just just to check if you are going to do that though um, with a larger quadcopter I would most certainly recommend you take these propellers off before you do anything like that especially if it's a full size 180 or 2 or, or, or 220 uh, FPV racer because those propellers and those motors are probably going to be brushless and they're probably going to be extremely powerful right then so it's this particular motor here turning it over and holding it like it is in the manual it should be M4 M4 as I said is a clockwise motor so I'm going to do underneath here now this makes it really simple because we've just got these little uh, these little pin and socket uh, plugs here these can just pull out and then you can just trace the cable back undo this little sorry undo this little uh, elastic band here once the elastic band comes off then you should then just be able to pull and the, pull the motor directly out of its out of its socket there. So what I'm going to do is just make sure I've got the right one. Yeah, pull that. There we go. Move the elastic band out of the way. That's done. Now the motor now because there's quite a bit of flexibility in this body uh, and quite a bit of flexibility to move this around. So what I'm going to do uh, is just push this, and it does take a little bit of doing. Once you've pushed it a little way and you've got a little bit of there we are, it's starting to move a little bit. The motor should then just pull out. Right, let's take the propeller off there. I'm going to need that propeller in a little while. Right then, there we go. So this is motor number one, blown motor, I'm going to call it. And that's her. All out. No problem at all. Two second job. Then I'm going to double check. Now on these, when you get them, if you if you if when you buy them, you're going to have CW here and it's also going to say CCW. So CW for clockwise, CCW for counterclockwise. So just to ensure M4 is a clockwise motor. So now with this, I'll just open up this and then we'll replace this with the clockwise motor. So let's just, even though the packet says... It is for the QX65, I'll just double check, so the one here, this is the new one, this is the old one, they both look exactly the same, that's good enough, let's just get this in. So, to begin with, let's hold this up, let's put the plug directly in there, feed her through the bottom, and then, holding this, now this is going to be a bit of resistance in here, there you are, you want her in, and then looking at the other motors, you want maybe a millimetre? half a mil 
on that side. So push it down until you get about a millimetre on this side. So you see there, that looks pretty similar. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Right, so now what we're going to do is just double check this propeller. The propeller looks okay, it doesn't look to have any sort of dinks out of it, there's no cracks or anything like that. So I'm going to use an original, the original uh, propeller, I'm not going to change that out. If there were any signs of cracks, strained, if the plastic had gone a little bit white, then what I would do is just replace that out for another propeller. Because the good thing about the QX65, you do get a damn load of spares. Uh, the only thing you don't get is a motor. <laughs> right, okay, so then we're just going to find the plug, push the plug back into the socket. There we go, and then use the little, the little elastic band that we had. And now these elastic bands can be a bit of a nightmare because they... Oh, look at that! Oh, there we go, perfect. So that's it, so we've got this motor. The cable does seem to be a little bit longer. So what we've done is we've replaced this motor We've replaced the elastic band, we've put the plug and the socket, we put the plug in the socket here, and then we've got this cable then which just lies a little bit on the top. That isn't held down, but what does help with that is if you pull the there we are, pull the elastic band down as far as you can get, then that should be okay. Now what I'm gonna do, just to test this, because I don't want to be taking all this out for a flight tomorrow, uh, if this motor isn't working. So let's plug in the battery. Now this battery is, is almost dead, it's just got enough charge just to hopefully move this little motor here. I'm hoping, so keeping fingers away, we need this motor here to spin, so... There we go, perfect. So we have all motors are spinning, this is the one here. There we are, motor successfully replaced. There we are folks, that's done. So there we are, I think next thing now is just to take this out, give it a little bit of a flight, see how she does, and then we should be ready to go to carry on our Acro Diaries. So there we are folks, thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers, I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time my friends, happy repairing.